Over time, having gone through numerous accumulations, we tend to weed out suspects of better value or interest. When we finally get to these stamps, we may wonder how do we best identify them accurately since they have so much junk on their backs such as gum residue, paper residue, and not to forget hinges, sometimes multiple hinges. I never could figure that one out but that's how it is. Uh, I talk in this case about used stamps only. For myself, I never did tolerate stamps like this in any of my albums or stock books. Yes, I spent many, many hours over decades soaking stamps which simultaneously brought more and more joy to this hobby. So what's the answer? Well, simply, with a little time and patience, put lukewarm water into your sink and gently add your stamps and let them soak for 10 minutes or so. A word of caution. There are some stamps worldwide that may fade in water or benzene if checking for watermarks. You don't want that. A good catalog typically warns of this, so please be aware of this. This is the result of two soakings. Did you really want to put this mess on your stamps into your album? I fear not. So what's next? Well, as a matter of preference, I used a drying book for, yes, drying the stamps and keeping them flat. I would suggest not to use newspaper or other materials that could influence the stamp condition. Occasionally I had used white blotting paper or paper towels for small amounts of stamps. This is what it basically looks like in the drying book. I always use my catalogs or other books to weigh down the drying book. whole process we also have to be cautious as not to damage what we really want to save. And here is the final result shown in the following four pictures. With clean stamps, watermark types and watermark positions as well as perforations and paper types were now much easier to identify. But not only that, you now have truly clean stamps to proudly display in your album and yes, with accurate identification. Honestly, wasn't it worth that little amount of effort? Of course it was. We all agree. We all know that many stamps used the same design for longer periods of time in same color and denomination but 
have changed perforation size and watermarks. So, no excuse. Clean those stamps for good identification. Thank you so much. I wish you give me thumbs up and perhaps the subscribe button as well. After you clean your stamps, well, maybe you have that treasure that you did not know before. I hope so. I wish you good luck. My channel Stamps Space My Fun Things. And thank you so very much again.